history of Karachaganak dates back to the 70s of the last century. Partial operations started in 1984. However, the advanced development of the field only began with the arrival of the international oil and gas companies, which concluded in 1997 with the final production sharing agreement. Today, Karachaganak is developed and operated by an international consortium, Karachaganak Petroleum Operating BV. The successful partnership of KPO's consortium with the Republic of Kazakhstan has become a foundation for the rational use of the country's resources and sustainable growth of the regional economy. In developing Karachaganak, which is one of the most complex fields in the world, KPO uses the most advanced and in some cases innovative technologies for hydrocarbon extraction and processing. So the production and processing of hydrocarbon uh, plays high responsibility on KPO in respect of the environmental protection. The company is committed to the principle of sustainable development and high standard and fully support the transition to the green economy initiative announced by the Republic of Kazakhstan. Operating such a technical complex field like Karajaganak in harmony with the environment is challenging and that requires a constant effort from all the KPO employees and our contractor. Therefore, our main objective is to guarantee safe operation, protection of the environment, while complying with all the legislation of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Air protection is the most significant environmental aspect of KPO's operations. KPO consistently aims to reduce air emissions resulting from hydrocarbons production. Significant reduction of air pollution in the area of the field is due to the use of advanced technology and partial change in process flow. As a result of the adoption of these technologies, KPO achieved the gas utilisation rate of 99.85% in 2015. This means that only 0.15% of the total volume of gas produced was flared. This level of gas utilisation corresponds to the biggest achievements to date in the oil and gas industry worldwide. The key element of uh, HEC policy of our company is the reduction of uh, negative environmental impact. For these purposes, each year we developed environmental protection measures plan, which is reviewed and approved by competent bodies of the Republic of Kazakhstan. One of the key KPO environment oriented goals is the conservation of watercourses and subsoil water, as well as reducing the intake of water and reusing water in production processes. To achieve this goal, the company ensures that the wastewater is not discharged into the environment, with treated wastewater from KPO facilities being discharged into isolated holding ponds that prevent pollutants from entering into surface water, groundwater and soil. Five holding ponds are available at KPO facilities for the discharge of treated domestic wastewater. Water from the ponds is reused for drilling mud preparation, forest irrigation and dust suppression. Increased growth of production output at the Karachagnak project has led to a natural increase in the generation of industrial waste. As part of some of the measures aimed at minimising waste volumes and reducing the impact on the environment, KPO has constructed the Eco Centre, a modern world-class complex for the treatment and disposal of production and municipal wastes. Treatment of production wastes at KPO's Eco Centre facility is a shining example of waste management for the oil and gas sector of Kazakhstan. Land protection is aimed at conserving the natural potential of the areas where KPO conducts its operations. One of the most important activities carried out for this purpose is the creation of forest belts within the field. Tree planting in the field makes a positive contribution, which includes soil protection from wind and water erosion. Green plantations create favourable conditions for habitats for birds and animals, improve the landscape of the area and protect roads from adverse weather conditions. Along with tree planting, KPO has been working on the improvement of the sanitary protection zone of the Karachagnak field. One of the challenges faced by KPO since assuming the role of the Karachagnak field operator was the elimination of historical contamination. In the first half of 1987, a well blowout occurred on well 427 due to a number of mechanical failures. As a result, the Griffin was formed, with a crater approximately 1.5 kilometres from the well, with surrounding areas being contaminated by significant amounts of released crude hydrocarbons. As a result of years of work to restore the topsoil of the Griffin area, KPO has fulfilled its commitment to eliminate historical contamination and implemented the remediation of land covering an area of 49.1 hectares out of 53.2 hectares, with the exception of two craters within the Griffin area. In 2011, KPO received an official confirmation of the transfer of restored lands for agricultural use. In 2013, KPO was awarded at the contest that was held under the 8th Forum of Kazenergy Association for advances in the sphere of environmental protection. 
the KPO project on the recovery of the Griffin area within the Karachaganag field was selected from the list of projects eligible from this final round. This award is the result of tireless efforts made by KPO in the sphere of process safety and environmental protection. Biodiversity conservation measures are required in order to ensure the effective functioning of the ecosystem within the field. Since 2011, under KPO's Biodiversity Conservation Plan, the company carries out regular monitoring of the species of flora and fauna in the Karachaganak field, including studies on the rare flora and fauna species count. In May 2016, KPO, in conjunction with Terra scientists, held scientific research work on flora and fauna conservation within the field. Karachaganak oil and gas condensate field is located in the subzone of the semi-dry steppe within the sub-Urals chalk plateau. Vegetation in the area is characterized by irregular space structure, rich flora and a relatively high extent of biodiversity. In the past, while carrying out land reclamation works, vast steppe areas were disturbed. However, at present, due to the fact that the steppe is no longer used for agriculture within the field, there is a process of natural fallow land reclamation. As before, the protection of certain rare and endangered flora species is of vital importance. There are three types of tulips within the field entered into the Red Book of Kazakhstan. These are Shrenk's tulip, Bibastinian tulip, and the two-flower tulip. Gosling is another rare and endangered species. This plant is quite decorative both during blossoming and fruit-bearing seasons. It is used in official and traditional medicine. Among rare species entered into the Red Book of Kazakhstan, the following plants shall also be mentioned. Dianthus andrzejewski, Adonis vernalis, and Velvety ornitholagum fisherinarium. Russian fritillary and guinea hen flower are important for environmental protection within the field. Lichens are also considered to be another indicator of the environmental situation within the Karachaganak field. Lichen is a conjunctive symbiosis consisting of fungus and algae, which are symbiotically related. Significant amounts of lichens on the trees within the field indicate the clean atmospheric air. It is indisputable that the conservation of biodiversity and the ecosystem is one of the priorities in the current stage of transition towards sustainable development. KPO always strives to conduct its operations with minimum impact on biodiversity and the ecosystem within the Karachagnak field, which is inhabited by numerous flora and fauna species, including the ones entered into the Red Book of Kazakhstan. We are located in the Conchubai Gully, downstream of the main storage dam. A long time ago, a beaver family settled here. They have been living in the area for more than 10 years. This tree shows traces of their work. Just three days ago, beavers started to gnaw the tree, and now we can see the result. Beavers have been living here since the 1980s, which means at the time the field was founded, they were already here. One of the factors contributing to the spread of beavers was the installation of the water storage facilities at the Conchabai Gully and nearby rivers. At present, three or four ecology centers exist within the field, which have three or four breeding families. As a result, beavers have spread all over the field and beyond its boundaries. In this area of the Berezovka River, just a few meters from Unit 2, there is also a beaver population. Beavers were counted during the early morning hours as they are active at nighttime and twilight. Beavers are clever animals. They build houses for themselves, making artificial dams. The top of the house is located above the water and the entrance is underwater. For beavers, it is important to have trees and shrubbery along the watercourse banks, as well as an abundance of water and riparian grassland vegetation, which constitutes their diet. Apart from their teeth, which are the beaver's main tool, a beaver's tail is also significant. It is used as a steering wheel for swimming, which is why beavers can dive and swim so quickly. In total, the number of river beavers within the field and in adjacent areas remains high. Their presence at headwaters and watercourses within the Karachaganak field territory indicates that the water is suitable for their life and is also quite clean. Apart from beaver, the following mammals also do well within the field. A hare, roe deer, a fox, corsac fox, a common ground squirrel, both small and big. Everyone who has been working in the field for a long time is well aware of the fact that near the bridge across the Conchubai Gully there is a breeding pair of swans. Every year these birds breed successfully. In autumn they fly away to the south and in spring they come back. 2012 there were no settlements of grey herons in the area but in 2015 they appeared. 
It was a great surprise since the heron is considered to be a cautious bird, and the fact that the bird was located in the geographic center of the field was even more surprising. Alongside the settlement of grey herons, other birds started breeding successfully. Grey crested grebe, common shoveler, wild duck, white-winged terns, and many other small birds, including miller birds and warblers. We have just heard a nightingale shoveler. This indicates successful bird breeding in the area, despite the nearby road and intensive traffic. It can be said that a heron in this area is an indicator of the protection of nature provided by the Karachaknek field. There are also other birds breeding in the area, the black-headed gull, yellow-legged gull, and black-necked grebe. Thanks to the protection regime within the field and limited disturbance, it should be noted that watercourses located in the area create a favourable environment for swimming and semi-aquatic birds. Birds decorate and heal nature by destroying a large number of rodents, pests, and their worms. The following birds are also encountered within the field. Common bee-eater, blue-throat, cuckoo, including the rare field species such as the lesser kestrel, red-footed falcon, and many others. During a biodiversity monitoring performed in 2016, traces of one forest bird from the woodpecker family, the black woodpecker, was identified. It breeds in the tree, pecking the tree in search of food, stripping bark from the tree and leaving notches and breaking off large chips of wood, the thickness of a finger. During previous visits to the field, a black woodpecker was not encountered. In the course of the ongoing flora and fauna monitoring within the Karachagnak field, there has not been any obvious negative impact of KPO operations activities on the habitats of flora and fauna species. On the contrary, due to the lack of agricultural activities and overall protection of the area, there is an almost complete absence of wildlife disturbance. This has formed the necessary conditions at the field which favour vital processes for the local flora and fauna. This contributes to the conservation of rare species. In 2013, as part of the Biodiversity Action Plan of Karachagnak, Field Contractor Centre for the Remote Sensing and GIS Terra conducted research for the project Retrospective Analysis of Changes in Ecosystems of Karachagnak Oil and Gas Condensate Field and adjacent areas based on satellite data. The main tasks to be achieved as part of the project implementation included analysis of the ecosystem dynamics based on a review of satellite images of the field and adjacent areas over three different periods prior to commencement of KPO operations, during the middle years of KPO operations, and the current state of the Karachagnak field ecosystems. Use of Earth remote sensing data enabled full-featured monitoring of ecosystem changes affected by natural climatic and anthropogenic factors and processes. Particular attention was paid to monitoring the changes taking place in sensitive riparian zones. It is known that prior to the field development, the area of the Karachagnak field was used for agricultural purposes. Since the beginning of the development and during the period of 2010 to 2011, there was a significant reduction of croplands across the field in adjacent areas. Fallow lands areas were extended and fallow areas dominated by grains appeared. Analysis of the ecosystem dynamics shows that there is a high potential for ecosystem restoration and indicates the beginning of the formation of plant communities similar to natural ones. One of the most important commitments of KPO is the application of best environmental practices promoting sustainable development. The company gives particular attention to environmental measures, planning and implementation. The Environmental Protective Measures Plans are discussed at public hearing sessions with all parties concerned, including residents of neighbouring settlements. Special attention is drawn to the measures intended pollutant emission reductions, waste management and the introduction of new technologies. In addition, KPO attaches great importance to the condition of flora and fauna within the Karachakanak field and along the KPC Bolshoi Shigan Atarao export pipeline route. Highly skilled specialists, mostly candidates and PhDs of biological sciences, are involved in carrying out research work. Environmental protection measures which are continuously implemented in KPO contribute to achieving progress in minimising environmental pollution, in the conservation of biodiversity and the ecosystem of the field, and in minimising the impact of the Karachagnak field operations on flora and fauna species. KPO is steadily achieving high production results, placing a priority on process safety, environmental protection and sustainable development. The company fully supports the Transition to Green Economy initiative announced by the Republic of Kazakhstan government. Currently, the total amount of KPO investments in the environmental protection measures have exceeded 311 million US dollars. Being committed to responsible partnership and environmental friendliness, KPO is striving for new achievements for the benefit of the Republic of Kazakhstan local community and the partners of the Karachagnak project.